Hello folks, let's go and take a look at uh, what is called Cloud Storage Fuse. What will this enable us to do? Uh, on the Google Cloud, you have the uh, storage, Google Cloud Storage, where you could store files. Basically, uh, it's just a file storage system that you're using on Google Cloud. If you want to integrate it with your compute engine servers in such a way that they just act like a directory, you're going to use Google Cloud Storage Fuse. And uh, here is a quick look at how it would behave. This is my server called API AI. And I go here and look at my storage buckets. Uh, they are here, Ganatra, Ganatra bucket, and so on. I'm just going to go here and say OPT. This my storage is something that I have mapped to one of these. I forget forgot which one, but we'll take a quick look. CD my storage. Oh, CD my s. Come on. My storage ls. So do you see? Uh, I have two files here that say demo data date CSV. Let's see. Is it this one? No, it's NMG, so I think it's this one that says Ganatra bucket. Uh, so here are the files. I'm actually going to copy some other file also. Let me go see what my temp directory has. It has a file called test1. My temp, temp directory on the server. So what I'm going to do is uh, cp temp test1.txt to my storage. It gets copied. And now if I just refresh this guy, I should see that text file. Here you go, here's the test1.txt. Likewise, if I create a new folder here, uh, let's say my folder, create, and I go here and do an ls, and there I see my folder. Uh, doing this is pretty straightforward. I'll quickly show you but uh, frankly you should be able to go look here and uh, do it yourself but if you want to uh, tag along well, feel free to I'll first go create a new server that way I'm not using the existing one so I'm gonna say create instance Just call it Fuse or whatever you want to. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to just go with a small instance or maybe uh, just with a one CPU for now. I'm going to change to Ubuntu because that's what I prefer. You would use whatever OS you want. I'm going to leave it the size as 10 GB. Just going to do allow. And uh, I prefer doing a set full access, allow full access. If not, you would have to do default or just make sure that at least the uh, there is a storage option somewhere here. You'll have to make sure that that is switched on. Yeah, the storage one, read only write or whatever, full, whatever you want. But I'm just going to do full access. I'm going to create the server. My server is up. Let's go and uh, connect to it. I'm doing an SSH. While that's coming up, it's a good idea for you always to kind of read the benefit of having uh, using the cloud storage would be like, you know, you don't, you know, you're not paying for the CPU or memory or anything like that when you store there. It's much cheaper than this. And I guess there are a few other benefits which you would have to read through. And then you would follow the instructions for installing, uh, installing Fuse. Uh, where did it go? Here it is. Mine's Ubuntu, so I'm going to follow these instructions here. Let me see if, if my instance is up. Here it is. I'm going to create my uh, directory. Uh, here, but before that, let's go ahead and install Fuse. Okay, do a curl. Took care of that. Pseudo app get. And then a 
Control Shift V. Install views. That got installed. I'm gonna clear this all out. Now, uh, in the I, I, I guess this is the older versions of Ubuntu, and I don't need to do that. Next, uh, as far as this piece goes, uh, my computer engine when I created it, uh, I created it with the default service account, and as you remember, I gave it the full API access, so I don't have to worry about all the stuff. Next is making a directory to which you want to actually connect to the mount. So I'm gonna go create a call mkdir. I'm just gonna call it Ganatra. There you go, ls. So I have Ganatra, and now what I have to do is gcs fuse. This is the command gcs fuse. This is where your magic will happen. This is Ganatra. Uh, this is the name of the bucket. This is name of this uh, bucket that I have called Ganatra. Ganatra and my folder and bucket both have the same name, so I'm just going to say Ganatra, Ganatra. And then there the file system has been successfully mounted. So now I have Ganatra, I can go into it, Ganatra, and then if I list it, I'm going to see nmg.py, which is the same thing that I see here. If I upload another file, let's see, let me just, I don't know what else that is, I'm just going to upload that file, go back and do a ls and the file is here and as i did previously I, I i don't have anything in my temp folder but let me quickly go there and do temp nano file one dot txt this file is created from the compute engine save it there this is there file one dot txt now i'm going to go back to opt ganatra then say copy temp it, uh, file what was it file one dot file one dot txt and uh, yeah there is a bit of latency as you saw it takes a little time to do it but that's something you'll have to test out and see if you can live with that file one dot txt is here just quickly going to see if I can make a folder here KDIR, storage, unit, does it allow me to? Hmm. Looks like it created it. So yeah, I can kind of uh, handle the file system from within my OS, there's the storage unit. So if the latency is a bit too much for you, there are some options. Uh, I'll put a link, so some other options uh, that Google provides. Uh, I'm going to provide those uh, using Google Fuse. Uh, I don't know where the other ones are. But yeah, all the charges, details and everything is there. But there are a few other options if, if you know, if you have a concern with uh, the latency. I will put a link to that. Uh, it's, it's somewhere in these documentation. I have to go search. But I'll put a link to that if you need to go look at it. But yeah, as you see, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, just those uh, simple commands there to do the installation. Yes, again, depending on what OS you're using, it would be different. So uh, you'll have to figure that out from the installation instructions. All the best. Hope that was helpful.